This video is on compound probability mutually exclusive events. Two events that cannot happen at the same time are called mutually exclusive events. The probability of both events happening is zero. If the two events can happen at the same time, then they are not mutually exclusive. To find the probability of two mutually exclusive events occurring, add the probability of each. So the probability of A or B happening is equal to the probability of A happening plus the probability of B happening. To find the probability of two not mutually exclusive events occurring, add the probability of each occurring and then subtract the probability of both occurring at the same time. So the probability of A or B happening is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of both A and B happening. Let's take a look at a couple examples here. So for each scenario we need to determine whether it involves mutually exclusive events and then calculate the probability. And again we're going to write our answer as a simplified fraction, a decimal, and a percent. So number one, students choose one elective each school year. About 18% choose woodworking and about 38% choose music. What is the probability that a student chosen at random has selected either woodworking or music as an elective? So this is an example of mutually exclusive. Oops. Mutually exclusive, yes, because students can only choose one elective. So the student is either taking woodworking or music or possibly something else. They can't do both at the same time. So in this case we're just going to add the probabilities. So it would be 18% plus 38% gives us a total of 56%. So there's a 56% chance that a student chosen at random is taking either woodworking or music as their elective. So this expressed as a decimal is 0.56 and as a reduced fraction is 14 over 25. This one's a little different since the problem started with a percent, we started with a percent there. So that's an example of mutually exclusive. Okay. Number two, suppose you reach into this dish and select a token at random. What is the probability that you will select either a square token or a red token? So this is an example of not mutually exclusive because both of those can happen at the same time. In other words, a token can be both square and red at the same time. So what we want to do is we want to do what is the probability of a square token plus the probability of a red token and then we're going to subtract from that the probability of a square red token. Okay, so in this dish here there are three out of nine that are square. In here there are three out of the nine that are red. And now I need to subtract the probability of a red square and there is one of those. The reason I need to subtract that one red square is I've actually counted that square, that red square, when I counted the squares, and I counted it when I counted the red tokens, so I need to subtract it out. So that's going to give me 5 out of 9, that's my probability, which is equal to 0 0.5 repeating, which is approximately equal to 55 0.6%. So in this video we took a look at compound probability with respect to mutually exclusive events. Can the two events happen at the same time and how we calculate that probability is different depending on whether or not they can.